Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Arata Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in modern science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding consecutive numbers using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Facebook, Amazon, Adobe, Apple and Uber interviews. Okay. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions. The link of that you can find in the description box below. Also, do not worry if you do not have lead code premium subscription because I am going to share this panda schema in the description box below. If you want to, you know, copy and paste it, let's say in Jupyter notebook and try it for yourself. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so there is a table called logs with two different columns, ID and number. In SQL, ID is the primary key for this table. ID is an auto increment column. So basically this is a non-null unique value. Okay, the question says, find all numbers that appear at least three times consecutively. Okay, return the result table in ID order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here, numbers that appear at least three times consecutively. So just by looking at it, right? So one is that number that appears at least three times consecutively and there is nothing else right two appears twice and two appears thrice even but it is not consecutive as well right so the only number that appears consecutively at least three times is one okay so now i'm going to share two different methods of you know doing this one is kind of a longer method but uh but kind of easier to grasp as well the second one is like very short and it's kind of you know if you think more into standard deviations and variance, etc., you can do this. You know, you don't have to write a lot of line of codes as well. Okay. So to do the first thing, right? So firstly, like how do you find whether a number has appeared at least three times consecutively, right? So firstly, the difference between the next number and the previous number should be zero as well as the difference between second number and third number should also be zero. So what I mean by that is like, Okay, so 1 minus 1 is 0 and then 1 minus 1 is 0 as well. So by this, you can say that, okay, 1 has at least occurred 3 times consecutively. Now, okay, so let's calculate right side. So let's make a new column right in this logs data. So we are writing a function called consecutive numbers where one of the parameters that is going in is a logs data frame and our output should also be a pandas data frame. So logs, let's make a column, let's call it difference one. So basically it's the second row minus the first row, right? So which is equal to take the log, logs uh, data frame and take the number column and just do dot diff, right? Dot diff. What this does is, you know, it takes the that particular row and subtracts it from the previous one. One minus nothing is null. Then one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. Two minus one is one and so on, right? Okay, let me return this. Let's see what do we have. Return logs. Okay, let me run this. Obviously, this is not complete, so it is going to say a wrong answer, but that we don't care about that. Okay, so now we created a diff, right? So 1 minus nothing before that is null. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, etc. Right? So once we have this, then we also need to make sure the difference of this difference is also coming out to be 0. Right? So let's make another column, right? So logs, then take, uh, let's say it is diff 2, right? And which is equal to logs num right num column and then dot dot diff dot diff right let me uh, you know run this again now let me try to explain what this means okay so now you have first difference you calculated just i explained before right now what is this so this is basically from this right so the first difference is created right first difference created and then we are doing another difference so now what it is doing is null minus nothing null zero minus null null 0 minus 0 is 0, right? 1 minus 0 is 1, right? So you see, now you have this. So now all the rows where diff 1 is equal to 0 and diff 2 is equal to 0, basically that is a particular number that has at least occurred three times, right? So if I go ahead and do a Boolean indexing, right? So logs and then take, okay, logs diff 1 is equal to equal to 0, Right, so it's equal to equal to zero, but this is not the sufficient condition. To make it sufficient, we need to also make sure that, okay, logs, right? So take the diff 
two column which should also be equal to equal to zero right so this is going to return you a particular row right and then you need to take the num column because we only thing that we are required to output is the number that is occurring consecutively right so take the num column right so take the num column and it is possible that you know so for example one 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 it occurred thrice consecutively here but in other but in later stages as well occurring thrice or more right so we don't want to return one twice so basically drop duplicates right drop duplicates now let me just run it it's still not complete but let's try to see what do we have right now okay so now you have basically the number which is occurring at least thrice consecutively the only thing that is left to do is rename this name of the column to consecutive numbers so what you can do is you can simply do rename what you are trying to rename is columns change it from number to consecutive consecutive nums right let me go ahead and run this now okay so this is accepted right now our output is same as expected output let, let, let me go ahead and submit it and i will move to the next method which is way better than this so, okay this is accepted this is a perfect perfectly fine method but one drawback of this method is let's say instead of mentioning that find all the numbers that appear at least three times consecutively if this asks that okay find the numbers that appear at least 10 times consecutively so you would have to do this a lot many number of times right instead of just doing it twice so obviously this method is not scalable so what is the better way or a more generalized way of doing it it's okay let me remove this so what we can do is we know about variance right so how is variance calculated variance is standard deviation squared right and how do we calculate standard deviation so you basically take a number and then subtract it by mean and then sum it up and divide by the total number of such observations right so if you apply the same thing right so we are required to see okay appear numbers that appear at least three times consecutively so what we can do is we can use a window right so okay start from the current row and take the three columns as window right one 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 so this becomes window what is the mean of this one plus one plus one divided by three so that is three divided by three that is one so now you calculate the standard deviation standard deviation is one minus mean right which is zero plus one minus mean again zero plus one minus mean again zero so zero divided by you know whatever is in the denominator does not matter so uh, your standard deviation comes out to be zero and if you square it it is still zero right so basically if you take the window to be whatever is required in the question so here it says at least three times consecutively so if we take the three window equal to three and try to calculate the variance wherever you get the variance is equal to zero so that means that particular number is occurring consecutively right so basically what we will do is logs let's cal you know compute a column called variance how we are going to do it is logs take the number column and then do dot rolling right dot rolling window we are going to specify three right and then calculate the variance out of it let me return it right so return the logs table okay okay so now if you look at it right so how is this variance being calculated so it's starting from this right and are there two numbers before this so no so obviously variance is going coming out to be null if the, the cursor goes here and it is taking okay only there are two numbers so also variance is not being calculated because we have defined the window to be three so now when it reads here so okay there are three and the variance is coming out to be zero now the cursor moves down and now it is taking two one one so these three become another window and you are going to get the variance of this and so on right so now here you have only one row where the variance is coming out to be zero and obviously that is what is the number that appear at least three times consecutively so you can just go ahead and do a boolean indexing in this case as well so we can do okay logs take the variance column is equal to equal to zero right and take the number right take the number column 
and uh, drop duplicates just like you know previous case so that we don't have repetition and then we just simply rename it right so rename columns from name or from number right from number to consecutive right consecutive numbers okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so now this is accepted as well let me go ahead and submit it to see it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question but yeah there are multiple methods of doing it one was kind of a Le easier to understand but lengthier process and not scalable right so this method is very scalable scalable like if it the person wants like how many of those numbers are appearing you know 10 times consecutive you just do only one change window is equal to 10 and everything else will take care of itself right so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video